Wife cheated, got pregnant, had her cheating partner's property burned down, her family mad at her. This is a very long problem, and past situations get involved, so it will be extremely long and extremely complicated. Whoever can read and give advice, I would appreciate it. Mayor of Asian descent and living in London. I have been going out with my girlfriend for four years now. My family is quite well off financially, and we are secure. Her family felt embarrassed to be living in a rented property. We don't care or judge someone whether it's a mortgage or rented property. They, however, have been renting for more than 10 years, and they really want to purchase their own house. Since the start of the relationship, my girlfriend has always told me she's working to save up so her dad can buy a house. I really love her and she's a good girl, very family-oriented, literally like a second mom to me, and I really wanted to marry her likewise with her. This year since the start, we've been having non-stop problems. I used to be heavily gang-affiliated, also I enjoyed drinking a lot 2-3x a week. Not with girls, just boys that I knew. When my girlfriend was younger, their cousin used to live with them. He is in his high 30s now. He tried inappropriately touching my girlfriend when she was sleeping. At that time, I wasn't in a relationship with her, she was just 12-13 years old. She told me her brother knew. I didn't react and I just ignored this and left it, because the guy was married now and he wouldn't move like an edophile again, but then we met each other at my girlfriend's birthday party. When he found out I was in a relationship with her, he started being nice to me and pouring me alcohol at the party after that unnecessarily started talking about me saying that I drink a lot and I don't go work and he would keep saying this to my girlfriend's dad which is his mom's brother. He randomly made it his mission to chat crap about me and every day. Weekly he would call up and speak to the dad about me but he lives one hour away and he has no way of actually knowing what he's saying is true or not. Just because I drank on that day. This cousin has a shop and his income is high and due to UK London home prices being extortion you need a high income to get a mortgage as they only give you 4.5x your annual wage. Because of this, my girlfriend's dad trusted him and gave him the deposit money and asked him to purchase the house for them. While this is happening, he messaged my girlfriend saying that he keeps trying to purchase the property. However, it is not working and apparently he spoke to an astrologer who has said that he needs to touch, kiss, and give a girl that he is related to a mouth on her boobs and lips and once he does that, the house will be bought the next day. So he asked her to come to sleep with him in return for the house. I still stayed calm and I asked her who she had told as if I take things into my own hand, I won't care about breaking the law. She told me she told her brother and mum. They both did nothing. Four days later, he popped up to her again asking if she could come to sleep with him. I asked what your brother and mum did. Why didn't you tell your dad? She told me they did nothing and that her dad is an angry guy and will end up doing something stupid. The next day she was meant to stay overnight with me. So what I did is I went with one of my friends and went down to his shop with a mask on and the plan was to beat him up inside the shop and then go. Since I have a mask on, no one will know who did what and when she's staying over with me, she would tell me what happened and I would just play along and act surprised. I went inside the shop and he wasn't there so I got annoyed and took the next left and he was standing there and he's seen my face now. I went straight up to him and thought, duck it. Let me make the most of the situation. I warned him and I told him I know everything I said, don't do that, and grabbed him and pushed him against the wall. I told him I don't want this problem to get big, don't speak about it, leave it, and don't do that crap again. He cried and then he went inside the shop and got a hammer and came back out. I immediately grabbed the hammer and he got the recording off that on the CCTV. He sent that to my girlfriend's parents saying I came and started a problem and left. He laid hands on me, he came with a hammer. He even spoke wrong about your family, so completely chatted crap and made the problem 50x worse and didn't listen. Since that day, I've been more or less drinking most days because my girlfriend stopped talking to me for weeks. I would get upset and angry because I don't gain anything from doing this. I did all for her and for the right reasons, but in the end, she was told by her parents to break up with me. She was on and off talking and her family Loki hated me. I got drunk one day and called her brother, swearing at him, calling him out for being like a girl. It's his sister who could have helped her and did something or his mom. No one did anything. I went to react and now my four-year relationship is downhill. He started swearing back at me and we both shouted at each other over the phone. Me and her were both going through depression, my hair started falling, I would just stay drinking and not eat anything. After this I got so angry at one point I made some calls while I was drunk and the next day his shop got burnt but I got nothing to do with this because I was elsewhere in a shop having a chicken burger. I felt really bad for him because apparently he got taken to hospital for carbon monoxide poisoning. As you can imagine the blame came straight to me and now the family hated me more than ever which made things a lot more worse in the relationship. When the incident came on the news, loads of people were commenting things such as the Edifal shop got burnt, he deserves it, etc. Upon contacting those people he gives underage,
people alcohol, cigarettes, free chocolate, and tries to be physical with them. And while all of this happens, he's got a wife. The youngest girl he did something like this was a 13-year-old girl, where he lied to her saying your father is upstairs, and then went up there and aped her. He purposely targets Asians because of our strict families, girls would keep quiet and not mention it to anyone or the police, etc. So I don't care what anyone says. That idiot deserved it. He even lost his alcohol license to X and had to put it under my girl's brother's name and got caught again. And then my girl's brother got taken to court. So I have no remorse for him. During the first six months of the relationship, I was with her in the back of the car and I was just on her phone. She told me I can open anyone's message except for these guys. Obviously, I only want to open that message now. She tried taking her phone, scratching me, and literally ripped my t-shirt off my body in an attempt to hide the messages. I had her phone and thought to myself the way she's behaving shows she is clearly cheating on me with him. Do I really need to read these messages and just hurt myself more? I checked her phone back at her and I dropped her at home. The next day I felt like drinking because that's like my medicine back then. I was talking to her best friend about everything then we met up, drinking, and we kissed. After that when I actually read the messages and found out what was going on I felt bad. I didn't know how to tell her what happened to her best friend. So that was a secret we both kept away from each other for the entire time of the relationship. We were both embarrassed and admitted it was a mistake. So with both these things happening at the same time, she literally completely stopped talking to me and then called me almost a month or so later. The next day she sent me an email asking me to come to a hotel I went to so we could sort everything out she told me she was pregnant. But the chances were extremely low as she has an IUD. She swore and promised she got a positive result. We kind of slowly started making up again and things weren't the same but it was getting somewhat better. When she told me she's pregnant I told my mom immediately the next day and my mom said to keep the baby you shouldn't destroy life, women are struggling to get pregnant etc etc. She came over to my house and said it in front of my parents and they said yes that's fine don't worry you can come live with us we have no problem. So after that we took the IUD out and made sure she was pregnant to avoid confusion. She was excited to have the baby and so was I. I was buying her vitamins, reading books, studying and getting a proper job, reduced drinking and started going back to the gym. Even told most of my family that my girlfriend is pregnant and of all sorts. Same time they finally bought the house under the cousin's name and that really pissed me off because Number 1. What is your guarantee that he will give the house back to you guys? 2. If your family stopped talking to me and hates me, why are they still in contact with him? I kept insisting to her to tell her family but she was really scared. My mom tried contacting them a few times and sending a text asking to meet to discuss something important which they also ignored. So I told my girlfriend I want you to tell your family by today but she didn't. I contacted her dad later that night who was a bit drunk too and told him your daughter is pregnant and seconds later he is swearing and talking about my parents because he thinks I lied. So I was drunk. I spoke back and defended my family and swore him too. They thought I was lying and just trying to cause problems, so weeks later I told her to tell her family properly or I will show them the video of the pregnancy result. Because at this point my parents are trying to get us married and most of my family knows about me and they feel marrying while she's evidently pregnant is embarrassing. Whereas with her only her little sister knew so next day she told her mom over text while she was with me. But it bugged me that her mom didn't even call her she carried on talking over text as well so I assume she still hasn't told her mom and that her sister is pretending to be the mom and replying. I got annoyed and a few days later I got the pregnancy result video and sent it to her mom, called the dad and tried telling him again but their close relative had passed away that day. Since that day she's been telling me she's going to terminate the baby, it's 12 weeks now. I don't believe that's fair because she clearly only got pregnant after we got my parents' support and took the IUD out. So we brought life into this world for no reason and terminated it, destroying its life for no reason. Her parents and family have been emotionally blackmailing her, threatening to drink poison, and falling on her feet begging her to terminate. As I said, she's a family-oriented girl and now she wants to terminate. My entire family knows and I got some crappy long conversations to have, my respect would be gone amongst my family. What's bugging me is that we knew your parents wouldn't like this and will try to do these emotional things, you have to stay strong not get brainwashed and she said okay to do everything and now literally wants to do the opposite and get a termination. She's getting shouted at home, every day is called a 403 and desperate, etc. She's depressed. I'm depressed thinking about all of this. 15% of my hair has gone gray. She's saying she's willing to register to marry me without anyone knowing but she doesn't want the baby. She's only thinking about her family because she told me she really wants to keep the baby. I thought her family can't accept me because they risk losing the house so I spoke to lawyers who can draw up an agreement where the cousin will only own 1% of the property and that family will own the remaining. 
So if he does try moving funny one day, taking the house and leaving, they can win against him in court. I told her to speak to her parents and get that sign because if his genuine intention was just to buy the house and help them, this wouldn't affect him in any way. She's not listening or doing anything. The family completely hates me because of all the problems they think her life will be ruined with me and they're literally doing everything they can to ruin this thing between us. The cousin has also said he apparently paid some boys that are going to stab me. I just laugh lol. Because of what happened to his shop and everything their dad would call me a criminal, but then what they're doing is a crime also but I don't hear anyone call him a criminal. I have told my girlfriend as she decides to terminate the baby, I no longer want to be with her anymore. What do you guys think I should do? I'm going to be sharing the replies with her also, so nothing biased. I just want good opinions. I have fixed up my life now and not doing the dumb crap things I was doing before like drinking every day. I study pass an exam now starting work next week, which are all the steps I did for the baby. 